The history of Penrith goes back almost a thousand years, named after Rhys Ap Tudor, who supposedly had his head cut off during a battle there. But like lots of myths and legends, we don't know for sure. What we do know is a monastic range was established in Penrith in the 12th century. By the Cistercian Order of Monks, this is Santana Abbey. Back then, the Rhondda Valley was a rural area, with wooded hillsides, flowing streams and babbling rivers. In fact, the word Rhondda probably comes from the Welsh for babbling brook. What set Penrith apart as a religious site was a discovery of a holy well. And a shrine was established just up the mountain from this well dedicated to the Virgin Mary. Grange was a working farm run by the monks, with his own hostel to give shelter to the pilgrims, brew house and bakery. In those days, farmers would have to provide all the food, not only for the monk, but for the visiting pilgrims too. The original statue of the Virgin Mary was supposedly found in an oak tree and was gilded and placed in a shrine. The combination of the shrine and the well established Penrith as a major stopping off point on the Cistercian Way. Which was the route of the pilgrims from Plantana in the east to St David in the west. In fact, legend says that three pilgrimages from Plantana to St David was worth one to Rome. Things were fine until Henry VIII decided to dissolve the monasteries. So in 1538, the shrine was removed from Penrith and taken to London, where Thomas Cromwell burnt it at Smithfield. The present statue of Our Lady was erected in 1953. And in that year, over 20,000 people came to see that shrine. When the Grange was dissolved, it was common practice to sell off parts of the buildings to local people. Tintilla Farm, situated just down the hill from Penrith, still has wooden beams, which would have come from the Grange, up the hill. This farm was established in the 1500s and still stands today and is now a grade two listed building. The wall down by the shrine today was once part of the original building that housed the original statue. In 1968, brand new housing site was opened at Penrith. The design of the site was governed in part by the way the prevailing wind blew. The site will be 40 years old in 2008 and is now known as Penry's Village with a thriving community, church, arts centre. The mountain of Penry's has hosted some strange things in its time and a quarter of a mile from the shrine, a smallpox hospital established, which was destroyed and burned in 1971. A quarter of a mile further on is Penry's Golf Club. We sure this site will continue to be visited by pilgrims for many years to come. Oh, oh, oh.